Hey guys, welcome to another unboxing. This one is the Aver Media Live Gamer Mini Capture Card. This one does 1080p at 60 frames per second. I bought this after I did my unboxing of Mortal Shell. Um, when I unboxed that game, I was like, I need to make a review of that game. And so yeah, I I'm new to capture cards. I hope this one will work. Uh, especially because after I bought it, I found out that um, you need a kind of a beefy PC, I think. And all I have right now is this MacBook Air. Um, and it's not the M1 version. It's actually the Intel version. I got it with the i5, but of course there's no um, discrete graphics card on this. So from what I read you need a discrete graphics card to to run this thing but yeah i'm gonna try it out anyway um might work i don't know uh if it doesn't it's no big deal i'm gonna return it and buy i think you can buy one that's you know standalone you can uh capture directly to a um a micro sd or, or a, an sd card something like that but uh, yeah, I'm new to this, so I'm gonna learn as I go. So uh, let's unpack this. All right, so the GC311, this is the model number. Um, what what I like about this one is that it's really, really friendly uh, to new users. Uh, it's simply one HDMI in, one HDMI out. And what's really important to me is that it's um, it doesn't add lag to my, uh, my gameplay. And this one is USB 2, but it seems to be enough for uh, to drive this. I would have loved USB-C, but yeah, I have plenty of cables around to, to plug it in. So let's unbox this. And uh, yeah, once I try it out, and if it works, I'm gonna show you some samples. Uh, there's a couple of things that I want to do with this. I want to capture, of course, PS5, PS4, PS3, but I also have a Frame Meister. So what I would like to do in the future is to capture retro gaming stuff and review retro gaming stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna have, the Frame Meister, the XRGB Mini, uh, has a, an HDMI uh, output. So, all right, let's open this. Here we go. Oh, it's really small. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah. So there's a light here to uh, to tell you what it's doing. Is it recording? I think it also tells you if you have enough hard drive uh, space. So you got your HDMI in, out, and your USB 2.0 for data. Pretty cool. Do we have... All right, so we only have a USB... Oh, it's a nice cable. Though. It's uh, it's braided. So, But it doesn't come with a um, HDMI cable. So... Yeah, I would have loved a... I have plenty of HDMI cables, but would have been nice. So this was a hundred and a hundred and twenty bucks, I think. Um, Canadian again. I'm Canadian. So what I'm gonna do right now is hook it up, try it out on my MacBook, and see if it works. Download the uh, the software. So see you in a bit. All right. So before we go to gameplay samples, 
I just wanted to uh, show you how I installed mine. Um, it's temporary. I just uh, installed it there behind my receiver with the uh, uh, USB cable uh, running down here and uh, going to my MacBook. One thing to keep in mind uh, and I find a bit annoying is that yes, it's passed through. So there's no lag added to your inputs. Um, so it's pretty much passed through, but only if it's powered on. What I mean by that, if you disconnect your capture card, see it's not powered on anymore and there's no pass through. So that might be obvious to some, but I didn't know that. What I do is, uh, for now, I plug it directly into the PS5, only so that it's powered on, and then it passes through the signal. And then it's working fine. But I thought that passively it would pass through the signal, but it doesn't. So I'm, I might just plug in a USB Type-A charger down there and plug this in at all times. So yeah, that's basically my setup right now. Oh, and by the way, um, I realized that not everybody knows what a FrameMeister XRGB Mini is. This is what it is. Um, this is a, this might be a topic for another video because there's a lot of things to consider, but basically what it does is that it's, it upscales old consoles like the Super Nintendo, the TurboGrafx-16, the um, the original NES or anything that you plug it into, um, it upscales it to 1080p so that it looks sharp on a big TV. So yeah, this is what it does. So I just wanted to clarify that. All right, let's start with none other than Demon Souls for the PS5. This is my big addiction right now. This game is awesome for me. This is a system seller. Um, yeah, so the quality of the footage is pretty good for me. Uh, my MacBook was able to keep a steady 60 FPS. Um, there are some frame drops here and there, but overall, I think the quality is uh, pretty good. Here we go back to the PS2 with Maximal Ghost to Glory. Uh, this is a spiritual successor to Ghosts and Goblins and Ghouls and Ghosts and all of that. Really good game. Um, again, you can see the picture is uh, it's quite sharp. Uh, it might be a little soft because of iMovie and YouTube compression and all of that, but to me, that's more than acceptable. Here, I just needed an excuse to play some Crash Bandicoot on the PS1, really. This is one of my favorite platformers of the fifth generation. Again, picture is sharp, colors look great. Yeah, really happy with that. Here I wanted to test the input lag created by this device and really it's negligible. Um, also Mega Man 8 has some beautiful bright graphics that I wanted to capture and take a look at. So yeah, input lag is really important for uh, those kind of games and uh, I'm happy to report that it pretty much adds nothing. Alright, thanks for watching my unboxing and review of the AverMedia Live Gamer Mini. Uh, for now, I'm really happy with the device. I think it's a great entry-level capture card for beginners like me who don't necessarily want to capture 4K or stream. And now that I have this, you can expect some reviews of games uh, from time to time. Uh, might be retro, might be recent, who knows. 
So once again, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you liked it. See you next time.